Hello, my name is Roger Wickenden. I'm a director here at Barton Lodge Veterinary Centre in Hemel Hempstead. I've been a veterinary surgeon over 30 years now. So today what I'm going to try and do is to answer some of the questions you've been asking about your dog's health problems. How to detect skin cancer in dogs. Dogs can get a wide variety of cancers which cause lumps on or under the skin, some of which are serious. In my experience, however, skin cancer in dogs caused by sun damage is uncommon because only on those areas of white haired skin, which are sparsely covered with hair, such as on the ear tips. Even then, it is only in dogs which sunbathe a lot, which is difficult to do, to do in the UK, even with global warming. The first indication mo most owners ha will have that their dog has skin cancer is when they detect a lump or thickening in or under the skin while grooming or petting their dog. Some dogs may start to lick or to chew at an area of skin which attracts the owner's attention to the lump. Sometimes an owner may notice an abnormal patch of fur or an unpleasant smell or discharge and on, when they go and investigate that they find a lump under the skin. Not all of these lumps will be cancer. The only way to decide which lumps are cancerous and how much risk they pose is for your dog to be examined by your vet. Looking at, counting and feeling the lumps, their size, texture, position, shape, the presence of pain or any ooze might indicate to your vet what the problem is. But in most cases, a biopsy will be required to decide what the lump is. What I normally do first is to insert a fine needle into the lump to collect material for examination under the microscope to identify what cells are present. A needle biopsy of the lump, as well as confirming the presence of cancer, will also allow you to see what type of cancer it is present and what sort of risks it presents. Uh, knowing what type of tumour is present will allow, allows me to advise clients what is the most appropriate treatment for their dog. If you're concerned your dog may have skin cancer for any reason, the sooner you take it to your vet for further investigation, the sooner any treatment can start. If your dog is found to have an incurable cancer, your vet will be able to provide you with guidance and treatment to allow you and your, debt, your dog to enjoy as much quality time as possible. These are some things about how to recognise skin cancer in your dog, so I hope they help.